Hello everybody, my name is Bear. Welcome back to the Indie Spotlight today for May 18th, 17th, if you're watching live on twitch.tv slash Taffy. We're playing some Slip, which is a game made by Handsome Games. It's a fast-paced side-scrolling platformer that utilizes uh, two-color swapping. You can swap between red and blue as your uh, main character here, who I believe is just called Slip. I don't think he actually has a name himself. He's uh, what they call him a devilishly QB protagonist. It's pretty pretty good uh, description of them. Uh, I'll go ahead and start off on the beginning of the game here. The video and audio options are pretty damn simple. You can just go low quality, medium quality, and high quality. Changes up a few things, uh, so not not much reason to uh, to delve too much into that. Now, as you can see, I've only gotten to Zone Three, which may lead you to believe I haven't played this very much. Au contraire. It took me a hell of a long time to even get that far. I may just be terrible at this game, but honestly, it is really difficult. It is insanely hard. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right off from the beginning. You can, of course, choose between normal mode, hard mode, and sassy mode. And you can see right there, it uh, simply affects the game speed, but it uh, gives you a big boost to your score if that happens to be something you are uh, concerned about. So let's go ahead and jump right in here. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Give you the uh, introduction to Slip, as it were. Yeah. Me! Us! All together is one. And this... <laughs> Steve's news. I love it. The, just the entirety of this story is perfect for what it needs to be. And I like it a lot. And here's Steve, our horribly deformed antagonist with his big-ass purple beam. And then we start off. So uh, that's the that's the entirety of our uh, beginning here. So as you can see, there is the purple beam. And uh, actually, I didn't realize you can uh, totally jump over here and then uh, die as quickly as humanly possible. I think I just got an achievement for that. But the purple beam touches us and uh, kills us instantly, which means, of course, we want to run away from it going this direction. And uh, it's pretty simple controls here. You control your character with the uh, A and D keys to move back and forth. W and S, I don't believe, actually do anything, of course, because you are on a 2D plane. Graphics are inconsistent! <laughs> All the blood is indeed. Steve says, in the event of you running, I put up a few billboards to help you, to help motivate you to die. I love the, uh, just the simplicity and the stupidity of the, um, of the characters here. It's pretty brilliant. So as you can see here, we can shift between red and blue. It's pretty easy to do. You just click your left mouse button and, uh, it does it right, right away. Absolutely no delay in that. It's very responsive. I like that a lot. The controls themselves actually feels a little slick, like slowing down and switching direction. I kind of wish there was a little bit, uh, a little bit more responsive, but uh, not not too much harm done there. And uh, yeah, just switching between characters here. Don't bother running. You'll just die tired. And uh, the oh god, I was I was under the impression that I was actually going to have a very very difficult time talking about this one while I described or while I uh, played it. And uh, that suspicion is definitely being affirmed for me here. But uh, the the main obstacles you can see are uh, the platforms above spikes. There will be like actual spike platforms that can kill you as well. Oh my god, I'm being so stupid. Simple stupidity is totally great. I agree, Keona. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I'm going to try actually my damnedest to not die in that exact spot again. But uh, basically what you're getting at here is... Uh, I've heard it described this way before and it's too perfect not to reiterate. It's a cross between Bit Trip Runner and Ikaruga. Of course, Ikaruga being the uh, the shmup that involves color palette swapping as well. You may have played it yourself. I highly recommend doing so. And uh, we actually just accessed a speed boost here, I believe is what this is called. So this is an uh, extra section that you can only acquire if you uh, have the time to touch that secret little thing. And then, of course, uh, avoid being killed by the beam. And then you get some uh, extra points here if you can just scurry about and gather as many of those cubes as you can before you're taken out of the area. Is this music from Bit Trip Runner? It sounds a lot like it, doesn't it? I believe this is an originally composed soundtrack for this game, but it has a it has a very Bit Trip Runner esque vibe to it, and I certainly don't blame you for uh, getting that uh, getting that haunching, haunching, getting that hunch from it. Uh, yeah, it, it's it feels a lot like Bit Trip Runner. If you've ever played Bit Trip Runner, you'll be right at home with this one. Uh, here's another in instance of there being uh, color specific obstacles that you have to avoid here as well. And, uh, of course, when you cross the checkpoints without actually dying before reaching them, they give you uh, a little bit of an extra score bonus. It multiplies your score, which can uh, add up quite a bit. This is a game that I'd very much like to see perfected by uh, uh, quite a few speedrunners. Like, watching this played at an expert level 
would be absolutely incredible in my opinion. Like I, I would love to see like very high level slit play at some point. That would blow my freaking mind. Because uh, it just requires so much, not only hand-eye coordination, but just like memorization of the level layouts, like everything going on. Like I try my best to actually not slow down as often as I can avoid doing so. Just to, you know, like feel as though I've got a semblance of an idea of what I've got going on here. The double jump is very effective as well. And now we've got, uh, of course, uh, blaster guns that can uh, only harm you if you are the color that they are hitting you with. So, of course, avoiding that by doing so is, uh, or shifting at the appropriate time is very effective as well. Uh, getting some frame drops, it looks like. And, uh, sorry about that, guys. I haven't actually gotten any on my system, but uh, hopefully it's not too bad for y'all. This does look beautiful at a crisp 60 FPS, so hopefully it's not, uh, not too terrible. And uh, now we've encountered our first mini boss of the uh, the the first level here, which actually gave me some trouble. But now I'm starting to realize it's really not as tough as I made it out to be initially. This actually turns it into an auto scroller here, which is interesting. So uh, it's no longer you controlling the speed at which you run, but of course it's just you uh, trying to avoid damage and uh, maneuvering about the areas of that level. So there we go. There it is. Do you die if you switch colors when in a block? Yes, you do, actually. The checkpoint reminds you a bit, Trip, and the frames are being dropped a little bit. Sorry, guys. Yeah, let me see if I can uh, hopefully solve that a little bit. Apologize if uh, things are a little bit sketchy here. Should be a little bit better now, hopefully. Couldn't be nine more FPS, yes, of course. There we go. It reminds you of Outland. Interesting. So, yeah, there we go. That's, uh, that's level one. In a nutshell, I actually got that through that quite a bit quicker than my uh, first run, which uh, makes sense. <laughs> it's hopefully going to be the case. Go ahead and head back to the world map here. Uh, so there are 12 zones, I believe, overall is what the uh, the game describes here. Yeah, sp Slip is split up into 12 levels with an overworld connecting them, as you can see here. Looks like we're actually going to run into like some kind of Mother Brain-esque enemy over there, and uh, probably closer to Zone 6 about halfway through. Uh, the last portion of every single level contains a mini-boss sequence just like that. Uh, of course, it switches from classic platformer to auto-run mode, as I mentioned before. Uh, the game encourages you to move quickly by way of that purple beam continuously coming through, so of course you can't just, like, take your time so far, or, uh, take your time through the level and just, you know, dilly-dally around. You gotta, you know, kinda speed up and, uh, make sure you're not being caught by the massive purple beam destroying your life. Actually, just gonna make sure here, uh, hopefully... Doesn't look too bad. I'm actually viewing this myself and hoping it looks decent enough. Apologize, guys. I unfortunately am not completely in control of the way things look here. And you can grab onto walls as well, which is very helpful in most instances. Take it easy, beards. Have a good one, buddy. Oh, so now this, this here, uh, this is giving me some trouble earlier on. Fedrin, how's it going? Fedrin is the one that hooked me up with this, by the way. So thank you very much to Fedrin for uh, giving me the opportunity to play this one. A lot of fun so far. Oh, God, that was so close. <laughs> Shit. There we go. That's that's how they that's how they uh, address them. Doomed to death. That's what they say. So, just taking their word for it, really. Uh, I'm imagining they might have like you know some kind of actual boss segments at some point at the end of certain stages. So you know, take that with a grain of salt, if you will. All right, that was un un almost. <laughs> I didn't actually mean for that to sound the way it did, but regardless. All right, I am uh, kind of pressing my luck here as far as my uh, interaction with the purple beam is concerned so oh my goodness i gotta say thank you hold on a second i gotta get through this very difficult section here that mother lover thank you very much that mother lover welcome to the bear pile buddy a big bear hug to you thank you very much for the subscription for your support really appreciate that it means a ton to me thank you very much for that oh man i'm actually doing uh, decently well on this level here i have not been doing this well up to this point <laughs> going not so bad anymore good stuff yeah, I love this game a lot, actually. It's uh, it's very difficult. I mean, like, I may be uh, making it look not so tough here, but I trust me, it is it is tough as nails. And, uh, of course, it'll get much more difficult later on, I'm sure. And, oh, man, this actually part here is kind of crazy. There we go. Oh, my God. How in the world? Oh, God. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I did not have many hopes for myself going through that section. But, yeah, it is. It's a ton of fun. It's Oh, that was a little bit of lag there, actually, unfortunately. It gets so ridiculously hard. I imagine. Yeah. Oh God, B Rex. I was actually just about to mention somebody like you would probably love uh, Slip, and I, it looks like you've actually played it yourself, so that's good. But yeah, I, uh, I would not be surprised to find out that the game just gets insanely difficult because I'm already having some struggles with it, and I'm only on level three at the moment. So yeah, I would not be surprised to see that it uh, gets insanely difficult. 
All right, let's see what I'm doing here. I'm just going to try to... Oh, God, that was dumb. <laughs> Mother lover, thank you, man. appreciate that a lot. All right, so maybe I just want to go... Uh... There we go. Okay. I, uh... I haven't actually tried this with the gamepad. I feel like I might be a little bit better at the game with the gamepad, but that uh, could just be my uh, my biases getting into my mind. That could easily be the opposite of the case. I'm getting a little bit more used to the keyboard and mouse uh, compatibility and controls and all that, so... All right, here's the uh, the second boss. This one's actually a little bit easier than the first boss, in my opinion, just as long as you get the uh, patterns down. It's not so tough. The boss segments, honestly, are not even the most difficult aspect of the majority of the levels, at least as far as I've played through the game so far. They're kind of just a, a cool little uh, way to switch it up, I suppose, make you, make you keep your under toes and be ready for whatever could possibly annihilate you next. So yeah, it's not too tough here. And they just run right into the spikes there, and then we're done. Good stuff. So yeah, of course, you can type the exclamation mark spotlight command in the chat if you want to get more information about this. Again, this is Slip. It's been greenlit, so uh, that's good news. They're available on Steam right now for $10. You can purchase it either from the uh, link in the description below or you can just search on Steam. You can find Slip very easily on there. Pick it up for $10. Bucks. Highly recommend it, of course. It just came out at the end of April, so still fairly new stuff here. Let's go ahead and continue on to level 3 here. I think I can... Uh, I'm confident enough in my abilities right now. I feel like I could get through level 3 without too much difficulty. Let's try it out. Of course, you don't actually have to uh, switch to get any of those cubes there. They're simply for your score. So if you wanted to, you can just completely ignore that and uh, go through the level without too much trouble. Uh, man, this part right here actually gave me a lot of trouble early on, but I finally figured out how to do it. There's another element of the game that I hadn't mentioned yet. Those bounce pads, actually, of course, you can probably easily tell, only work if you are the uh, the color associated with the pad. So uh, you got to make sure that you're... Uh, switch to the right color before you do that and uh, then you're able to use that and get through the level a bit more quickly that way oh god that was dumb okay I thought I might have a little bit of trouble there these are many bosses right yeah I am I'm terrified about approaching the actual boss uh, we talked about that a little bit ago it's probably not gonna get this <laughs> if you're terrible at most games I know man like I don't, I don't consider myself the greatest player either but uh, I'm actually uh, feeling pretty good about my uh, progress this far I mean like of course playing the game a little bit more gives you a little bit more edge in uh oh god man that section right there i kind of got to take my time there otherwise i'm going to die over and over so I just got to think about it and approach it the way i know works all right here we go of course you just got to go fast sometimes man like you really can't dilly dally that much otherwise oh there is a speed boost here actually i should probably go into that looks like fun let's try it out see how far we can get to this one uh oh goodness um there we go i guess sure <laughs> Oh, hey, that's interesting. I like that. There's some extra ones here. Cool. All right, that wasn't so bad. Nice. Extra goodies. You've only played two worlds. It's already super hard. Yeah, that does not surprise me. Oh, God, I got to keep... Oh, got to keep the focus there, man. The uh, checkpoints are actually pretty well spaced out, too. It's very much like Bit Trip Runner. I mean, like, if you like Bit Trip Runner, this is a, this is a cool switch on it that uh, provides plenty of entertainment value on its own, so... Recommend if you dig bit, bit Trip Runner for sure. Okay, that's exactly what I need to do there. It's really not that tough. You just gotta focus on it. Steve says, knock, knock. Idiot says, who's there? <laughs> Steve says, me, you jerk. I got us. That's Steve. He's a dick. Steve's a dick. Oh, man. That went actually uh, pretty damn well. All right, this checkpoint here drives me crazy, so hopefully I don't spend too much time on it. All right, it's a quick switch there. Switch to this, there we go, and then boom, 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 boom. Oh, see, that's what happens. If you're too quick, it'll actually kill you if you're within the blocks there. So you gotta be very careful about that. All right, here we go. Get this switch going again. Nice, okay, here we go. And hit this, and uh, you know, we could play that a little bit safer, but no big deal. Nice, there we go. Okay, not so bad, not so bad. Steve is vulgar, it's true. Oh, this part here. This part freaking murders me. Oh, God. And then they switch it on you at the end like a bunch of jackasses. <laughs> nice. There we go. I don't know if I've actually gotten this far. This might be the first time I've fought the level 3 boss, so let's do this thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Ikaruga style right here, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, holy cow. All right, I'm not going to be able to beat this guy, man. Oh, this is going to be tough. 
This is a mini boss here, dude. Like, this is gonna be ridiculous. All right, let's try to stay on this side, actually. Oh, God. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I'm not gonna do this. I am gonna fail so hard on this section. So yeah, here's an example of how difficult the game can get for anybody that was maybe skeptical. Oh, God. I hope it's not dropping too many frames for you guys, because this really does look so gorgeous when it's played out smoothly. Oh, God, that was bad. Freaking A. Killing me. Yeah, I thought some people might get a Tohu vibe from it, too. I'm probably mispronouncing the hell out of that. Alright. Uh, I gotta take a chance. Oh, God! <laughs> this is the third level mini boss, man. Oh, shit. I can't tell what the. Uh, this is called Slip Thomas. It's available on Steam for 10 bucks right now. It's by Handsome Games. It is hard as balls. That's a weird descriptive term for it. I think I want to try to stay in the middle, man. I don't know. Yeah, sorry, frames are dropping a little bit, guys. Apologize for that. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's a little better, actually. Ooh, shit. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh my god. I think I did it. Oh yes. Oh man. Wow. Oh god, that is uh that is tough. I got it though. Good stuff. That's a high note to end on, man, and unfortunately that uh, wasn't as smooth as I like to be video-wise. Hopefully you guys can get the gist of it, but you should get it for yourselves if you want to see the beauty of 60 FPS color swapping goodness. But, uh, damn, it's hard, but it is satisfying and it's a lot of fun. This is Slip, Handsome Games, 10 bucks on Steam, highly recommended. Especially if you're a BitTrip Runner kind of guy, this is right up your alley. And uh, that'll do it for me here on the Bear Taffy Live Show, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching the Indie Spotlight. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed that FTL run as well. as a lot of fun. I will be back on Monday at 2 p.m. for the midday stream. And you can catch this VOD over on YouTube.com slash Bear Taffy. Where you'll find the link down in the description below to pick this game up as well. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm going to leave you with some ads, some chip tunes, and all that good stuff. And I will see you next time.